What's going on guys, Captain Horn 23 here and today I'm going to show you how to install the EUP menu, EUP law and order, and EUP search and rescue for LSPDFR. Now these plugins are very useful and it just adds a lot more realism because you can customize your um, uniform so if you wanted to be police you can make a police uniform if you want to be sheriff you can make a sheriff uniform and if you want to be the highway patrol you can be the highway patrol you can make a uniform for highway patrol so what we're going to need today is these three files on my desktop here which is EUP menu EUP law and order and EUP search and rescue the links will be in the description when you click on them it'll bring you to these pages here so this first one is EUP menu all you want to do is hit download this file agree and download the second link will be law and order now this is what adds the pack so you are able to pick um, different law enforcement uniforms and hit download this file here and then the last one is serve and rescue and this is stuff like Coast Guard and firemen um, I don't really use serve and rescue but it is uh, useful to have on your LSPDFR and just hit download this file here and once you have all those you can drag them up to your desktop like I have here now obviously you're gonna need to have LSPDFR installed for these to work and um, if you do not know how to install LSPDFR the link to my video will be in the description below and we also go are going to need OpenIV now OpenIV is just a program that allows you to mod Grand Theft Auto 5 it's not complicated at all it looks pretty much like the normal main directory but and we only need it for one thing when we're installing EUP so um, we're just gonna hop right into it now we're gonna start with EUP menu so we can open this WinRAR file here and inside we're gonna have a documentation folder and a files folder now we don't want to worry about this documentation folder we can just go into the files folder and inside of here we have a plugins and rage native UI once you're in here we can navigate to our Grand Theft Auto main directory mine is located in my F drive and remember it's the one that always says Grand Theft Auto 5 not dash copy or anything else and once we're in here what you want to do is really easy just drag and drop both of these into your main directory now you don't have to drag this rage native UI if you already have one because this one is from December 31st 2017 and one of the most up-to-date ones is February 8th of 2018 um, I actually have April 5th 2019 so as long as you have an a um, newer version of rage native you don't have to drag that in but if you don't have a rage native UI go ahead and drag both of these in but um, really what you really want need to drag in is this plugins folder so just drag and drop that right into the main directory here and that's all that's all we have to do and now we can head on over into EUP law and order uh, open this WinRAR up and now in here we're gonna have a plugins folder a .oiv file it's like just a blank piece of paper and a readme now the readme is you don't need to read it because you're watching this video <laughs> but um, it's the same idea just drag in this plugins folder only the plugins folder into the Grand Theft Auto main directory like that and now we're going to need OpenIV now I recommend going ahead and dragging this EUP LNO uh, 8.1.oiv out to your desktop just like that and once it's out there we can open OpenIV and if it's your first time launching OpenIV it's going to ask you where your main directory is and it's really easy just find it and it'll um, tell you if it will work or not and then go into Grand Theft Auto 5 down here uh, and click Windows of course And once we're in OpenIV, this is really easy. Just go up here to Tools, and then Package Installer, which is the second from the bottom, and click on that. And now what we're going to do is simply navigate to your desktop, if it's not already there, and select this piece of paper here, which is EUPLNO.OIV, and then hit Open. And now all you gotta do is hit this Install button right here, and um, all right this is important you never want to install into the game folder never ever do this you always want to install it into the mods folder but it's blanked out and it's gonna look like this if you just installed OpenIV 
So in order to fix this, it's really easy again, just go up to tools and then ASI manager instead of package installer. So three from the bottom and simply install all of these and hit yes on this second one and then install the bottom one and install this top one but you should already have it if you have script hook v now we can go back into the package installer select it and hit install here and now we are able to install it into the mods folder just like that and go ahead and click the mods folder and hit install and this is just going to confirm the installation and it'll take maybe like five or ten seconds it doesn't take long at all It's actually taking a little longer than usual, but typically it will only take five or 10 seconds. I think it really depends on your internet speed. And there we go, once it's done, it'll say installation succeeded, and we can close that out. And now we can uh, delete this EUPLNO.OIV off of our desktop if you wish, just like that. And now serve and rescue. And this is the exact same idea, except we don't even have a plugins folder now. So we can just drag this .oiv out to our desktop, just like that. Go up to Tools, Package Installer, select it off our desktop, and hit Install, and into the Mods folder, confirm the installation, and we wait for it to be installed. And there we go, see that time it only took like five seconds. And we can hit Close, X all these out, and delete EUP SNR, OIV off our desktop and we can head on into the game and I'm going to show you what to do from there. Don't forget to join my LSPDFR and X-Plane 11 community discord. In here I have many channels related to LSPDFR including four help channels with helpers standing by to assist you with any issue you may have with LSPDFR. I also have X-Plane related channels where you can come in here and talk with other people that play X-Plane and make new friends and you can also go on group flights and VAT sim with your friends. I will also be going on group flights with people, so if you wish to fly with me, or even play LSPDFR with me, feel free to join the Discord. I'm always looking for new members, the link to join the Discord will be in the description. Alright guys, so once you are in the game, what you want to do is go on duty, and I have already done so. Um, you can do this by either pressing F4 and typing Force Duty, or going to a police station and going on duty from there. But, once you are outside, you can press F11 on your keyboard, and it will bring up the EUP menu. Now, um, characters we don't have to worry about. Wardrobe, this is where we are going to create our outfits. And here is Law and & Order and Serve and & Rescue. Now if you go into the Law & Order, it's going to have a bunch of different departments. So like LSPD, obviously that's going to be the police, we can see there. And you can change the uniform as you please. It's got a bunch of different ones like motor units, bicycle units. You can go to the Sheriff's Department, which looks like this here and the highway patrol which is these right here and just a bunch of other ones even uh, federal agents and stuff of that sort but um, the way you customize it like let's go with the LSPD and just a class A uniform select it like I have there and then go to wardrobe and create outfit and now you can change all the aspects about this uniform like if I wanted to add a hat to him or some glasses or something of that sort or something to his ear, just everything. You can change the pants, which I don't recommend doing because it'll make him look stupid, like that right there. What the heck is that? But uh, you can change the shirt, the shoes, accessories. You can change what's on his belt, and if he has a tie, um, undercoat changes his belt as well, just like that. See his belt changing. But you can customize it however you want, and then give it a name like police or something of that sort and then you can go down to the bottom and hit save and continue and there we go now if um, when you get in the game and you don't have anything on you can just go into the menu go into wardrobe and select police and it'll um, change your outfit to whatever you save so it's very useful um, it gets even more better if you add the EUP vest and earpiece which I will also link a description um, I mean a video the video in the description it's my most viewed video currently and you can add different vests to put on and it's really nice so that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like um, and subscribe and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day